Officials said the hotel in the eastern town of Arusa had apologized for the incident and taken the sign down after Jewish groups called for the hotel's closure. Switzerland's tourism office on Tuesday decried an unfortunate incident in which a small alpine hotel posted a sign asking Jewish guests to shower before swimming in the hotel pool. The Simon Wiesenthal Center demanded the closure of the Paradise Arosa Hotel, and issued a statement calling on the broader Jewish community and their Gentile friends to blacklist this horrific hotel. On Twitter, Israeli Deputy Foreign Minister Tsipi Hot Ovli called for justice against the hotel's management. Officials said the hotel in the eastern town of Arosa had apologized for the incident and taken the sign down. Hotel management didn't immediately respond to an email from the Associated Press seeking comment. Swiss tourism spokesman Marcus Berger called the sign unacceptable, adding, It always needs to stay in perspective, this is one unfortunate incident. Under the headline to our Jewish guests, the sign read, Please take a shower before you go swimming. If you break the rules, I am forced to close the swimming pool for you. Thank you for your understanding. Tsipi Livni a former Israeli foreign minister, posted an image of the sign on her Facebook page and wrote that there can be no tolerance and no indifference to anti-Semitism and racism, in comments that also alluded also to violence around a white supremacist rally in Virginia in the United States. We must not let there be a place in the free world for Nazi flags or Ku Klux Klan masks or ugly signs in hotels directed at Jews only, she wrote. We cannot allow acts of hate against Jews around the world to become normal. The Secretary General of the Swiss Federation of Jewish Communities said it was really a dumb thing to do, but he called for calm. It's somebody who really didn't think a lot, Jonathan Kretner said in a phone interview. He said that calls to close the hotel were very exaggerated, Kretner said. This is the most important thing now, to stay cool. Things happen that are not good. I don't want to reduce the problem behind this, but it is very important to stay cool. Krapner said that most of the Jews who visit the area are from Belgium, Britain, Israel, Switzerland and the US. Berger, the tourism spokesman, cited a recent trend of Orthodox and other Jews traveling to four Alpine villages in the area in the summertime, including Davos of World Economic Forum fame. He said didn't know the origin of the trend but that numbers definitely in the thousands have grown in recent years. He said many area hotels serve kosher food, and that Jewish guests feel well treated there. It's just this one lady at this one hotel who was not on top of the situation, Berger said. It's an isolated incident that doesn't need for greater action to be taken. Switzerland's foreign ministry, responding to a request for comment from the Associated Press, said that it has been in touch with the Israeli ambassador and outlined to him that Switzerland condemns racism, anti-Semitism and discrimination in any form. Switzerland has been strongly committed for years, as it is at the moment, for example, within its presidency for the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance, to raise awareness to the dangers of racism, anti-Semitism and discrimination. Let's make this go viral. Share this on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what else you think. And don't forget to help support us by subscribing and joining us on Patreon, by clicking on our Patreon link in the description box down below. Don't forget to check out our all new website with much more content than on this YouTube channel. If you are seeking the best in facial and clear skin regimens and products along with skin age reversal and so much more from the makers of Proactive, including an opportunity to work from home. Please visit our partner, the link is in the description box below. Let the world know your thoughts on this story. The National Post helped contribute to this report. Thanks for watching and goodbye from all of us here.